Now let's talk about application insights. And this is the application insights instance that we have created for our API management. Now let's go ahead and open application insights. And this is the application insight instance that we have created. And of course, we cannot cover everything in the application insights in here. It's not the core of our course, but I'm going to walk you through the most important things that you need to focus on. First of all, application map. And there is no data available in here, so let's go ahead and increase the time range to be the last 30 days. And as you can see here, it's a representation of our API management instance and the different APIs we have in our API and number of calls and the average response time. So it is the same data we have been able to see before, but it's a different representation. And you can turn on and off the 400s code in the view in addition to changing the layout as well. Now let's go ahead and click on the API management instance itself. And as you can see here, we are able to see the top failing requests at the API management level. And as you can see here, 81 failures coming from create profile operation. And if you focus on a uh, LinkedIn profile API, you will be able to see the same data, but zoomed in for the LinkedIn profile API only. Also, you will be able to see the slowest requests by name. For example, for LinkedIn profile API, these are the slowest requests are going to be processed at the API level. And if you focus on the API management level, you are going to see the same data across the whole API management. And then we are going to focus on more how we can investigate different failures and performance issues. Now let's go ahead and see the failures. And as you can see here, there are no data available. So let's go ahead and increase the time range to cover the last 30 days. And as you can see here, we can see the top three response codes, top three exception types in our API management. So for the response codes in here, you are able to see how many failures you are getting per certain operation in respect to the total number of calls. For example, create profile operation received 61 failures out of 136 calls. And this will help you to understand how different, how different APIs or operations are responding and how many failures they are causing. And then you can go ahead and resolve these failures one by one. And also you are able to see the top three exception types for your API. For example, you can filter on the gateway error here, for example, and you will be able to see which operations are causing this particular exception. And also you can go ahead and see the full list of exceptions in here. And if you can relate to the rate limit exceeded exception, this is where the throttling limit has been triggered for our APIs. And in this case, you might need to increase the throttling limit for your operation or your API management. And as well, header not found exception in addition to other exceptions as well. Now let's go ahead and have a look at the performance. And again, we need to increase the time range to cover the last 30 days. And as you can see here, you are able to see how each operation uh, responds and how many hits each of the operation gets. And you can sort it out to see the longest duration. And let's look at the first two operations here, get sessions and get jobs. Both of them gets around 170 seconds execution time average execution time. However, get jobs operation gets more hits than get session operation. So what this tell you that you would need to prioritize, improve the performance of get jobs operation to make it perform more quicker because at the end, get sessions has been only called once over the last 30 days compared to get jobs operation, which gets far more hit than that. And finally, we have life metrics here. This is where you can see the life metrics about your API management and how many requests per second your API management instance is able to handle and CPU utilization and memory as well, in addition to the failure rate. That's it for this lecture. I hope you enjoyed it and please feel free to join me in the next lecture.